ABC 17 News has detected more than 20 dispatch calls for Columbia area property crimes. ABC 17's Kirsty Crawford is looking deeper into the numbers to see if this was a common trend. She joins us now in Kirsty. There may be more to these numbers than what the data is showing. That's right. There has been a large decrease in property crime in the past year, but people shouldn't be less aware. These are a few places where the crimes happen this weekend. The holidays are coming up, and to the Sheriff's Department, that means more property crimes, including burglary. Uh, one of the things I tell people that, you know, after you open up all your presents, don't leave the box for the 60-inch flat-screen TV out Detective on Detective O'Sullivan says it doesn't seem like the numbers are dropping, but according to the Highway Patrol's data, they are. This year to October, in Columbia alone, property crimes have decreased by 620 over that same time period last year. But it is the same for Boone County overall. And if we take a look at the previous years, 2014 to 2015, there was a decrease of 370 property crimes. Columbia City Council is trying to keep these numbers down by creating an ordinance for pawn shops. It would make pawn shops hold items for seven days and notify authorities before they can sell. Um, by having a photographic evidence of jewelry, for example, that will allow our police investigator to be able to go through all of the jewelry that's been sold and looking at photos and matching it with pictures, and that would save them from having to visit 20 different secondhand stores to be able. So it's really going to save police resources and allow more robust investigations. Councilman Trapp says they should have the ordinance in place by spring. To keep the numbers decreasing, O'Sullivan says there are simple precautions to take. Two of them are to lock your doors and keep your garage is closed. Property crime numbers are also decreasing in Cole County, but I was unable to get in contact with the Sheriff's Department. Live in the newsroom, Kirstie Crawford, ABC 17 News.